Welcome to Actual Scale Modeling. This is part 7 of Hobby Boss's M1070 Truck and Trailer with the M1000 Heavy Equipment Transport and Semi Trailer. Scale is 1 to 35. And this part is, I'm going to be carrying on building the cap and putting it together. Now, I'm not sure how far I'll get in with this build. I had to break up. Uh, I tried to get it all in one video in part 6, but that wasn't possible. So, this is just going to be the other part of that. So let's jump into this and see where I like it on. So starting off in such where I left off, I just got to the um, steering column. I just uh, finished putting a little bit of paint on, a little bit of touch-ups. So uh, first of all, I'm placing the um, main steering column on, onto the bracket of the steering wheel. And then that gets uh, placed in just um, where the um, pedals are. Now interestingly, the um, top part of this uh, steering column where the bracket is, is loose. It's meant to be like that. So um, I would suggest leaving it loose for now until you put the seats in. That way you can adjust it um, how, how you wish once the seats and um, dashboard are in position. And it's now time to put the dashboard in. I've just got a paint pot there holding the column up there because it's still drying. The uh, dashboard just sits on onto its support and butts up against the bulkhead. Next, the seats are uh, going in. Now, these were a tight fit in the actual location points, um, but um, try and get them to, to line up or, or they'll sit um, askew. Um, they do fit, but um, it needs a bit of working just to get them in position. It's, it's the same with both of them. Um, it's, it's a quite a tight fit. The rear seat wasn't a, a problem whatsoever. There's locations on the the bottom plate uh, for this to link into, and uh, it'll just sit on one of the raised areas, and I'm just pressing it down, and uh, it'll secure it. Next is to make the sun visors for the cab. Um, this is uh, made up of a four H part and uh, a, a rod of uh, plastic. These are quite thin plastic and the, uh, I did have one um, snap on me. The photo edge was bent uh, into a 45 degree angle. Then the bar goes uh, in situ at the top of it. And you can see at the bottom of the screen here where I've already, uh, well I haven't done it yet, I've just um, started uh, positioning it. In fact I'll just hold off to the camera so you can see the bar and the photo edge part. Next, I'm using micro crystal clear for the cement for the uh, windscreen. Um, the, the windscreen fits really well, um, but a uh, full confession here when I pressed the windscreen in, I did manage to crack the center of it. Uh, I must have um, just pressed too hard when I was putting it in position. So I used a little bit of masking tape to pick it up, then I just placed it in position. Um, it, it's quite a, a tight fit and it should just click in, but. Um, as you can see there, you might just be able to make it out. I, I, I just uh, pressed it too firmly and I managed to crack the centre of it. Anyway, I can live with that because it's a working vehicle in the army. A lot of them would probably have a, a little bit of damage to the windscreen anyway. The second panel went in without a, any problems whatsoever. But I did notice when I was installing it into the cab that I got a little tiny bit of runoff on my cement which uh, smeared onto the glass. Um, I don't think uh, this one's going to like me at all. But th that's just the nature of these things and it can happen from time to time. And it was the same process for the doors and side panels. Um, as you can see, the door has three uh, pieces of um, plastic to go in, but not plastic, uh, clear parts to go in. The um, the side panel only has the one, of course, the door then goes on to the main opening. But they were uh, placed in the same way. Um, I didn't press too hard on these ones because obviously I didn't want to crack the uh, plastic again. Once the clear parts were dried on the doors, it was time to fit them into the main panel. And they just sat in beautifully. They just placed them without any issues. It's back to the windscreen and I'm placing in the sun visor. Now I painted the sun visor in Rebel Aquacolor 08 matte black. Wasn't sure what colour to paint them, but I thought if in doubt just go with black. But I think it makes quite a good contrast. 
Well, next, there's a, a few little things to make up that go inside the cab. These, I don't know what they're called, um, the camera's not picking up, up very well. They, they are sort of like metal loops that are hanging down um, inside the cab. They, they are made up with a, a series of uh, little bars of plastic and they're extremely thin. And it's quite difficult to make these up. And a, a few did snap along the way. I should point out as well, they had photo etched parts at the top of these uh, loops. I didn't put them on because they were just far too small. There was no way I was going to be able to do it. Um, on the opposite end, there's um, some sort of little uh, canister things. Um, they get added to the uh, same system as I, I just built. But it, it's uh, this, the same thing apart from these uh, two little canisters. And once um, the bars were in place, and then it, it was uh, just hanging, the draping down these uh, loop things, whatever they are. They, they were then painted in the um, base colour of the Rebel Arc Club 360 Firm Green. The metal loops, I painted them in 91 steel, Rebel Arc colour. And then the canisters, I went with 08 matte black, Rebel Arc colour. I'm not sure if that was meant to be the colour that they were painted in, but uh, instead of everything being this uh, green colour, I uh, thought just for, again, for a bit of contrast, um, uh, they would make them stand out a, a little bit better inside the cab. There's a little bar that fits uh, on the back um, bulkhead of the cab. Um, I, I painted this in the steel colour. Not sure whether that was the correct choice or not. There's a, a couple of long location points. Um, just on opposite ends that this bar fits into. And then uh, I placed in the um, the the little add-ons. Now the instructions say put these on once you've made up the cab, but I thought it might be easier just to place them on now before I made the cab up. There's no time to assemble the main cab. I started off with the back bulkhead or, or panel. Uh, I, I think it's easier to start with the back panel because there's more of a surface area for it to uh, adhere to. Next was the uh, side panel with the doors. Uh, they're quite easy to link into. The, these things do have a tendency to slip and move though, so uh, just be careful when, when you're putting them on. Uh, don't try and rush it. Make sure they're either completely set or just semi-set before you put, do the next process. Actually, semi-set is probably a little bit better because you have uh, room then to manoeuvre if need be. So there you can see uh, two main panels on now. Next is the uh, opposite side panel to go on. As you can see, it, it just uh, sits on to it uh, without any issue. It's quite a really nice fit actually. I will add a clamp to this at the bottom just to keep everything stable. This primarily uh, just to stop it from uh, slipping out when I put on the uh, windscreen, which I'm doing now. Now the windscreen was a little bit more tricky to fit. It should just fit in easily enough, but the nature of these things, as I said, they do move occasionally. So um, just be careful and be patient with it. And this is where I'll end part 7, uh, while I'm just uh, adjusting this windscreen. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds. If you subscribe to the channel, make sure you hit the notification bell, that way you'll be kept up to date, not only for this build, but all my other builds as well of course. Hit the like button, don't be afraid to leave a comment, and of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching, bye bye.